Hey, Hello, Governor everybody. Schwarzenegger is here. I, rec I recognize that guy from the movies and California. Very nice. Thank How are you, you Governor? You. Well, it's, uh, it's great to have you all here. I mean, uh, which one is here? Kelly. You must be Kelly, right? Yes. Exactly. Then Richard and Tanya. Um, anyway, I just want to thank you all for, uh, you know, requesting the grant money for uh, opening, uh, for providing more of those drop-off uh, boxes. And uh, I think that uh, your county is obviously very important. Uh, Maricopa, I've never been there, but I mean, it's a, uh, I, I think it's a, a great, great place and it deserves for everyone to be able to go out and vote. And yeah. I just want to tell you that I'm very passionate about this subject because, you know, I'm an immigrant and I had to wait for a long time, to go through the process when I came to America, uh, from the time I came over here to become uh, first uh, as a visitor, then as a, uh, yeah. to get a temporary working permit, then to get a permanent working permit, then to get my, uh, you know, green card, then eventually in 2000, in, in, in 1983, I became an American citizen and I was allowed to vote. So it was a great honor to be able to vote. And I always uh, cherished that right and to that, that honor. And so this is why I'm kind of a fanatic about the subject of voting and making sure that everyone has a chance to vote. And I think this is, uh, you know, this is why when I have heard that there's uh, various different people that would not be able to vote, if it is, you know, voter suppression or if it is uh, uh, that the money was not available, uh, you know, because of budgetary reasons or because of the coronavirus or whatever the reasons are, uh, I want to make sure that I can help in any way possible. And uh, I think that you guys did a great job because, I mean, here you have, like, when you create this uh, uh, drop boxes, uh, that people can drive in to go, go to a stadium or to an arena, use that parking lot, the big giant parking lot and drive in and with no waiting and to just drop it off. I think this is great because you, 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 you're covering a lot of ground here, including the coronavirus danger, because people are really worried about going to a polling place. And here you can drive into a, a parking lot and you just drop it off and there's no contact with anyone else and all that stuff. So I think it's a, just a brilliant idea and so we are very happy that we were able to, um, to facilitate, you know, and, and, and help you financially with the whole thing. But that's only one aspect, you know, that I think that everyone has to work together on this. And this is why I think that you are all kind of like, I play the action heroes in a movie, uh, but you are the democracy action heroes, I call you, because you're really fighting out there to make sure that everyone's voice is being heard and I think this is where the action is so I want to just say thank you very much to all of you but I also have uh, you know a question just I want to just hear from you how did you come up with that idea about the, you know this uh, drop off uh, uh, places for, for people can drop off their ballots and uh, who came up with that and how did you come up with that idea because it's a really I think, a creative and brilliant idea. Well, Governor, this is Adrian Fontes. I'm the elected Maricopa County recorder here. And, and I want to, on behalf of everyone, thank you. Uh, everything we do is a team effort. And as the second largest jurisdiction in the country, I think you may have been out here once or twice because we've got Tempe, Scottsdale, Chandler, Phoenix, Glendale, Peoria. Uh, just oh, yeah, 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 you're absolutely right. Okay, Phoenix. Oh, yeah, yeah. you you've been out here, Governor, I'm yeah. sure. No, anyway, I've been to Arizona uh, many times, uh, you know, the... the Phoenix, Tucson. I made a movie then, Tucson, in 1978 right. with Kirk Douglas. As a, as a, I did not know this is your county. No, Tucson. We don't. We don't claim Tucson, but everything around Phoenix, the whole area. That's okay, all. Got it. Yeah, no, I've been there. Yeah, absolutely. So, so, so anyway, uh, it's been a team effort. I think we've we've wanted to really expand access here in Maricopa County for a long time. Uh, we're still looking to do some more, um, and, and, and these ideas pop yes. up all over the place. We try to get folks in. If you have a second, Governor, Tonya is right now showing some of the workers down right outside of Cardinal Stadium, uh, where the Arizona Cardinals play, where we have one of our drop boxes now. Uh, and with the help of your foundation, we're going to be doing more. Tonya, why don't you show the governor real quick uh, what you got going on over there? Governor, we're actually dropping, we have a couple of voters dropping off now. I don't know if you can see, there's a sh just a very, very, very short line. 
and then we have four workers out here and they're accepting the ballots in a very socially distant way. I'm hoping you can hear me with this mask on. Uh, I can, I can, I can hear everything. If I can hear everything, thank you. introduce yourself, go ahead. Sure, hi, Governor, uh, my name's Eric. Just wanted to thank you very much for helping us to have the opportunity to be out here. It's uh, really great out here to be able to interact with all these voters and help them out. Yeah. Thank you very much. I like that. I mean, how professional this whole thing is, the way you're doing it. It's like a network that is throwing it to the reporter out there in the field. I like that. <laughs> That's great. We run, we run a very tight ship, Governor. And, and I will tell you, uh, you mentioned Kelly at the beginning of the call and Richard and Tonya out there with our voters. We've also got my chief of staff, Keeley, here and our director of early voting, Ray. Uh, some other folks, Megan Gilbertson uh, and Gary Bonkowski from the warehouse. We've got an entire team of people, uh, and it's a pretty big and involved team. You know, we've got 2.6 million voters here in Maricopa <laughs> County with the second largest jurisdiction right behind L.A. County. And we're very proud of the work that we do. And, and your foundation is helping us make it that much better for a lot of voters in places. In fact, Richard is right now driving down to one of the single most remote voting locations in the United States of America. He's got to drive down there today to set up the polling place for those local voters uh, down at that village. Richard, uh, you want to say hello quick to the governor? <laughs> Hi, governor. Uh, yes, I'm going to be going out to Gaka Village. There's uh, 200 people there, no running water, uh, a lot of mud, structures, but we're going to make sure that those people are afforded the ability to vote just like everybody else. It's very nice. So whether we're doing it outside of the stadium uh, with folks driving through or whether we're heading on the, all the way down where the, the, one of their greatest infrastructure improvements, I think Richard will attest to this, was they finally got a, a paved floor at the Feast House where he set yes. up his vote center uh, just a year or two ago. Uh, your, your, your foundation is really helping us continue to fill in the gaps where we can across this very, very large jurisdiction. So, uh, we want to, want to thank you so much. And, uh, Kelly, do you have anything you'd like to, you'd like to ask the governor while you got him? You, you're never going to get another chance. Thank you so much, Recorder Fontes. Governor, thank you so much supporting this effort. We have come up with so many different ways to get the word out about, um, options for voters in Maricopa County. We were going to pull this off every which way we could. And uh, the drive-through drive uh, locations have been doing very well. They've been very, very busy. As you can see, the team is awesome. And uh, we're just really grateful for your support. Well, thank you. I, I just want to tell you that I, I think that without you, we wouldn't be able to do that. So this is why I think that teamwork is really important. And, uh, and, and the other thing is that's very important is, is that, you know, our institute um, that I created uh, many years ago at USC uh, is kind of bipartisan or we try to keep politics out of it. And uh, this is exactly like this issue is about voters participation and to get as many people uh, to vote as possible. It's not a political issue. It's an American issue. You know, I think that, uh, we want to have people go out there and vote and to be enthusiastic about it, to be able to participate and all that stuff, no matter which party it, 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 uh, it, it, it you know, has an advantage or disadvantage, or this, everyone should go out and vote. everyone should have the chance to vote and have the opportunity. And I think that's what you're creating there with the work that you're doing. So I'm really, really proud of you. Well, so you know, we've already had 24,000 ballots dropped off so far. We're expecting a lot more tomorrow and we actually not only have them out there our drop boxes at uh, the phoenix uh, arizona cardinals stadium but we've partnered with major league baseball and all their spring training facilities the phoenix suns and the uh, mercury have uh, let us have veterans memorial coliseum in downtown phoenix where i'll be heading soon uh to the drop box there and the arizona coyotes of the national hockey league also have a vote center in the lobby of their arena uh, we've also got horse racing is in on it. Turf Paradise uh, is one of our locations. So uh, we're all over the place, Governor. And again, I want to express gratitude on behalf of everyone on our team uh, for your foundation 
and, and, and a really great inspiring story. I, I remember not too long ago, my kids uh, torturing me with uh, singing lyrics to uh, the musical Hamilton and their favorite line is the one that says immigrants, we get the job done. Uh, and your story is exactly the same American story that so many people really do enjoy. And that is coming to this great nation, capitalizing on the amazing opportunities, working hard, striving and striving. And as you've said and have inspired me, uh, if you've got a, if you don't have enough time to get eight hours of sleep, sleep faster. Uh, and that's what I try to do sometimes too. So thank you, Governor, for being an inspiration, not just to me personally, but to so many other people with your great example of hard work and diligence. Uh, and then, of course, the support you've given to all of our voters is just phenomenal. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. And, you know, I love this country and there's nothing that I wouldn't do for it. You know, I want to keep it the number one country in the world. And that's why I've spent so much time uh, in public service. Uh, you know, and when I was governor, I didn't even accept any money. Uh, I just gave it back to the state. And, you know, I, I loved always my time of giving back to this country. If it is this way, what we're doing now, or if it is with Special Olympics or setting up after school programs, I'm one of the, I'm one of the largest foundations that, that provide after school programs all over the country. And, uh, you know, I love children's issues and helping kids uh, to get a fair start in life in order, because that's what I had when I grew up. And so, you know, I just, it's just such a pleasure to reach out and to give something back to this country that has literally given me everything that I have. So thank you very much for giving me the opportunity. You bet. And uh, be before we get too short on this, I'd like to uh, turn it over for a real quick word to a guy who's probably processed more voters and more ballots than anyone in the history of the United States, bar none. He's okay here for 30 years. He's our director of early voting and Ray Valenzuela just completed 2.1 million early ballot orders. And we've got over 1.5 million of those back already. Uh, so uh, Ray, uh, would you uh, go ahead and greet the governor on behalf of all those millions and millions of voters that you've served over the years? And you're muted, Ray. Oh, there we go. Governor, again, appreciate all of the, we couldn't be where we're at without this community team, this community of service. And so again, I just not to keep it short and brief, the Maricopa County, the 2.6 million voters appreciate that. Uh, every bit counts. And also one small plug, I love the movie, The Villain, that was filmed in Tucson. That's- Okay, well, thank you. I know that you're, you came down for, so appreciate it. Thank you very much, thank you. Well, you won't have a good time. Okay, now let's just go and work really hard um, and, uh, you know, just keep doing everything that you can around the clock. That's the most important thing. We're going to keep doing it, Governor. And uh, good luck. Thank you for all your support. And uh, we really appreciate the help. Uh, and if you're ever back in, in the greater Phoenix area, look us up. We'll give you a tour of our warehouse, our facilities. I think you'll find the entire operation quite fascinating. We'll, we'll be happy to, happy to host you. I will take you up on that invitation. Thanks very much. Thank Fantastic. you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Be Thank good. You, Thank you. Christian, thank you very much uh, for getting us on there and, and letting us have uh, a few minutes of the governor's time and ha letting him chat with some of our folks. That was really fantastic. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for doing it. I think that was really that was really a lot of fun.